Hello there besties and welcome to today's video. My friends, it's as crazy as it can get. Legends Vader is just freakishly overpowered. This would never go over as well in canon. I mean, maybe, but we have seen nothing as close to this in the new Disney comics or novels. Buckle up friends, it's going to be a bumpy one. Barely a few months after the end of the Clone Wars, Emperor Palpatine summoned Vader to his throne room with Tarkin and Captain Shale by his side. Palpatine told his apprentice that Tarkin's son, Garrosh Tarkin, had recently disappeared while on an expedition in the Atoa system. Sidious ordered for Shale to accompany Vader on this rescue mission. As much as Vader was displeased, later Vader would create a plan that he discussed with Palpatine. His plan was to kill the son of Tarkin when he found him and blame it on the Atoan insurgents. This way Tarkin would embrace the darkness to the maximum and focus on nothing more than to completely annihilate the enemies of the Empire. Sidious agreed and was very proud of his apprentice. He told him to proceed with this plan. However, things would not go according to the plan that Vader had devised. Fighting the insurgents, it was this occasion that Captain Shale was waiting for. Upon returning to the Star Destroyer, Shale executed his secret agenda, deserting the Empire and ordering the Storm Commanders to kill Darth Vader. Meanwhile, the Sith Lord was resting in his quarters. In fact, he was dreaming of a better life, a life with Padme Amidala. At that moment, she warned him, told him that they were coming. When Anakin asked who, she said, the assassins. Suddenly, Vader was fully conscious. Immediately, he ignited his lightsaber and turned to face the treasonous troopers who came to assassinate him silently. Without even wearing a mask, Vader was still lethal. He of course warned the assassins to stand down first, but they would not comply. Perhaps this is what Vader really wanted. He lunged towards the assassins and the first one got his head sliced clean off. As they continued to fire upon Vader, he completely demolished most of them, and by the end, two troopers were trying to escape, but it was already too late. Vader grabbed one of their blasters and fired on both, one of the rare occasions where he would use such an uncivilized weapon. Of course, as mentioned, since this is Legends material, it is neat to see that Vader would relatively function quite well without his mask being fully on. This has not not been proven to be so in canon however still as far as we know vader would be incapable of surviving too long without a mask on whatever the case what did you guys think of this savagery by vader and would you like to see more videos showcasing these crazy moments during his sith campaign let me know down in the comments and lastly thank you guys so much for watching Alright Star Wars fans, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't miss out on any of my future videos that I will post on this channel. Have a fun day my friends and in closing, don't forget, may the Force be with you always.